Hi guys, welcome back again to our flip classroom. Today we are going to discuss about proportion. Proportion is a statement of equality between two ratios. So for example, let A be the first term, B is equal to the second term, C is equal to the third term, and D is equal to the fourth term. So A is to B is equal to C is to D. So the product of the first term and the second term is equal to the product of the second term to the third term or two main parts of proportions is equal to the product of means and the product of extremes to continue so let us identify whether these ratios are proportion so we can say that ratios are proportion if the product of the first term and the last term is equal to the product of the second term and the last term so let us try this example or number one so let us cross product this one so two times 28 is equal to the third term for the, and the uh, second term 7 times 8 so 2 times 28 is equal to 56 then 7 times 8 is equal to 56 so since the product of the first term and the last term and the second term and the third term are equal so we can say that these two fractions are equal so 2 7 is equal to 8 28 okay let us try another example 16 uh, 6 11 and 9 16 so let us cross product okay 6 11 and 9 16 is equal to 11 times 9 so 6 times 16 okay we have 6 times 6 36 6 times 1 so 96 so this is 96 11 times 9 is equal to 99 so they are not equal so these two ratios are not proportion because their products of the first term and the last term to the pr uh, product of the second term and the third term are not equal so about this one number three so two third uh, and six nine so again cross product and uh, this one so that means 2 times 9 is equal to 3 times 6. 2 times 9 is equal to 18. 3 times 6 is equal also to 18. So 2 third and 6 9 are proportion because they have an equal product of the extreme and the means. There are instances that some of the terms in the proportion are missing. So what are you going to do? So let us try with this example. Okay, 6 is to 9 is equal to 8 is to n. So n here is unknown, so it is the missing term. So the last term are missing. So what are you going to do again? So we are going to cross product. So cross product. So, n times 6 is 6 times n. Then, 9 times 8 is equal to 72. Okay. Then, 6 times n is equal to 6n. Is equal to 72. So, to find n, uh, let uh, uh, we are going to divide both sides by 6 
So, 6 divided by 6 is equal to uh, 6n divided by 6 is equal to n. 72 divided by 6 is equal to 1 so 12 okay so n is equal to 12 next we have here so n is to 4 is equal to 6 is to 8 so the first term is missing so what are we going to do so the product of the last term and the first term and the last term is is what we call the extreme then the product of second term and the third term is what we call the means so n times 8 is equal to 4 times 6 so n times 8 is equal to 8n 4 times 6 is equal to 24. So, to get n, so we're going to divide both sides by 8. So, 8 divided by 8 is equal to n. Then, 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. So, n here is equal to 3. Next, for the last example, so, 7 is to n is equal to 0 0.6 is to 3. So, we are here, involved here some decimals. So, our missing term is in the second term. Okay? So, cross, cross product. Okay, 7 times 3 or 3 times 7 is equal to 0 0.6 times n. Okay? 7 times 3 is equal to 21. Okay, 0 0.6 times n is equal to 0 0.6 n. So, to get n, we are going to divide both sides by 0 0.6. Okay. So, this is equal to n. So, 21 divided by 0 0.6. So, move decimal places to the right. Since it is, uh, the divisor is decimal. Okay. So, you have 210 divided by 6. So, we have here uh, 3. So, 18. 21 minus 18 is 3, so 0, okay, this is 5, Third. so n is equal to 35. Let us try another example about problem solving involving proportion. Mrs. Reyes bought nine different kinds of pastries for 324 pesos. At the same price, how much will she pay for 15 different kinds of pastries? So, we have here ratios. First term will be the number of pastries. For the second term, it is the price of the pastries. So, first term will be 9 and second term will be 324. And for the second ratio, we have here number of price is 15. So, how many, what, uh, how much will be the price if there are 15 kinds of pastries? So, to find the price of the 15 pastries kinds of pastries you are going to cross product okay so n times 9 equals 9 times n then 324 times 15 
So, 300, uh, 9 times N is equal to 9N. 324 times 15 is equal to 4,860. 4, okay. To get N, so we're going to divide both sides by 9. So, 9 divided by 9 is equal to N. So, 4,860 divided by 9 is 540. So, N here is 540. That's all for now, guys. So, remember always that practice makes you good or better in math. Thank you for watching. God bless.